Hi everyone, welcome to Sense with Sing. This is one category I love talking about, resonance fragrances. So winter recommendations coming up, let's start with this list. So the first fragrance that we're going to talk about is called The Other Side of Me. This here is a green Chypre and from La Fleur by Libby. Uh, beautiful scent. I have enjoyed and worn this scent quite a few times and uh, let me tell you about this. So this has, in the beginning, it has uh, a bright yuzu. Uh, with uh, peppers in there like pink and black pepper there are some soft florals in the middle but the uh, charm is from the base which has this beautiful styrax patchouli and, um, and labdanum in here so this is bright this is green and uh, this is excellent for the upcoming weather uh, more suited I would say you can wear this during the night uh, during the night and the evenings I mean and this scent lasts on you for a very long time this does not have a very loud projection these are, these are more of natural fragrances composed of natural fragrances but they last on you for a good duration good long time and that resin just keeps coming to you uh, you know it, very, it stays close to you forms a good little scent bubble around you and it keeps coming to you so that's uh, the other side of me from La Fleur by Livy, excellent scent. I highly recommend that you check this out. Right, so the next scent on my list is called Amber Royal by Oman Jane. Oman Jane makes absolute class level of fragrances. Uh, these are regal, these are sophisticated, and this absolutely fits the description. Uh, Amber Royal has, uh, now this one has Ambroxan in there. There is Osmanthus, which is the most gorgeous floral note that can be. Uh, then there is amber complemented by some iris and cedar whatever but this here is just amazing this is sweet this is softly woody this is not too sharp and uh, this does not go into being a very thick amber scent but those florals make it very diffusive very approachable uh, excellent projection on this one beautiful performer worth the uh, worth the money definitely and uh, very classy so that was Amber Royal, moving on to the next scent. Right, so the next scent on my list is called Sheep Repellent Tin by MDCI. Beautiful looking bottle, just look at that amber, amber colored juice. This is a wine. And so is the scent for me. Uh, this was recommended to me by another YouTuber, who, another fragrance uh, community person who is also a YouTuber. And, uh, I got a decant of it, I loved it and my hunt for the bottle began, finally I got a good deal on this one and uh, Chypre Palette Tint, now Chypres, uh, basically Chypres are defined as fragrances uh, which are, which have uh, citrus tops and uh, floral mids and an oak moss patchouli kind of a base. Let me get myself into focus and there we are. I think we are in focus, yes. So uh, this is uh, Chypre Palette Tin. This is a more resinous version of a Chypre. Then the bottom we have, a pop, I think we have a Popanax, Styrax and there's Castorium as well. So this is a beast. This is sharp, uh, this is floral, this is beautifully resinous and an absolute beast of a fragrance. Uh, it's more complex than I think most of the fragrances that I'm going to describe, this is definitely the most complex of all of them. Uh, so basically this is more of a resinous take on a Chypre, uh, less of floral, uh, even though you can find in the, that the composition is consisting of florals when you smell it, you get those hints. But it's the voluminous uh, base uh, that takes the cake, making it one of my most loved resinous fragrances of all time. An absolute winter gem, definitely a must have. Right, so the next scent that we're going to talk about is a hug in a bottle for me. Uh, this is my favorite from the brand and this is called Istanbul by Galavan Stories. Uh, beautiful house coming out from London. Uh, Galavan 
has amazing scents. Tel Aviv happens to be my favorite jasmine scent, but Istanbul here is just just beautiful. It is. Uh, now this here, I know this scent uh, very well. I've worn this scent a lot. I used to have an oil form as well, a roll-on form as well from the brand. Now it starts with a cardamom, a very, uh, very nice, sweet, gentle cardamom, not having that sharp spicy tone. There is a pop and in the mid, uh, which kind of comes up and the base is just beautiful. It's composed of some creamy notes like sandalwood like a clean sandalwood note, then there is uh, a vanilla in there, some amber in there, making this uh, soft, sweet, slightly sweet, uh, typical amber scent, uh, where there is a dense sweetness to the whole thing, and there is diffusiveness due to the mite musk in the base. Just amazing. This, you can just, uh, this is the perfect cuddle scent. I don't think there's a better way to describe it. <laughs> so that was Istanbul by Galavan Stories. The next scent on my list is an absolute compliment magnet. I'm not exaggerating it. I love the brand. I have tried all their creations. This is one of my most loved. This is not only my most loved. Whenever I've worn this scent, it has gotten a traction. And this one is called En Sans Suave by Mattia Premier. Simple presentation, nothing too uh, much about it, just a beautiful perfumer's bottle blown up in proportion and uh, presented with a simple white label. Now, also Suave, uh, the concept of the brand is to have one note and then to compose the perfume around it. Now, the central note of this is uh, benzoin. Now, benzoin is one of the m most widely used resins uh, in fragrances uh, and this one is just gorgeous <sighs> also suave is composed around benzoin there's incense uh, and there's uh, vanilla there's coffee in here absolutely stunning absolutely stunning very comforting very sophisticated beast of a performer and the way it gets attraction is just fantastic it just makes you uh, you know feel better about yourself uh, because already you're feeling good wearing this gorgeous scent and then you, on top of that you get compliments so Anson Suave is a must-have for the upcoming season I highly recommend that you get it so yes coffee vanilla and benzoin with a little bit of smoky incense uh, not too smoky but gorgeous the next scent on my list is called uh, La Air du Desert Marocain by Andy Dyer uh, I hope that's the correct pronunciation uh, and this here is an absolute beauty and beauty for this is an understatement uh, it has uh, La Air du Desert Marocain means the air of the Moroccan desert and uh, this captures it beautifully, I suppose, because uh, this scent here is very special. It's one of my most comforting fragrances. Uh, the day I am stressed, this is the fragrance I reach out for, along with three more that I do the same with, <laughs> but this is one of those. Now this here is sweet and sharp spicy in the start, but that sharp spiciness tries uh, just settles down instantly as you as it progresses. Doesn't take that long, but that amber and the resins and the spices here make it very beautiful, very comforting. This is not this has not been everybody's uh, you can say cup of tea or slice of cake uh, around me, but. Uh, in the fragrance community, this holds a lot of respect. I love the scent, not just this one, but uh, there is another one. This is number two, and there is another one called number six, which is, uh, I think, something to do with queer. I don't remember the name of it. It's uh, the short form of that is ACCD or ACD, whatever. <laughs> and uh, but that and this, I find them pretty uh, close to each other. They're not that distant cousins. But this one is beautiful, 
Lahir itu dari Sumatera kan, banyak di Dior. Uh, again, a sweet, spicy, amber scent. Uh, very good performance. I have enjoyed this uh, a lot. I love this scent. I think I need another bottle of it. I am halfway through it already, and uh, just love it. Beautiful scent. Oh my God! Let's move on to the next one and the last one. All right. So the last scent that uh, I'm going to talk about today is my most comforting fragrance. Uh, this is uh, my go-to scent for whenever I am not only stressed when I just want something for myself and I don't really care where I'm going or who I'm going with or whatever. This this scent is for me. Uh, Kristen Carbonell created this beauty and it is called Mandala and this is by Mask Milano. Uh, I used to have a sample of it, then I had another sample of it and then I took the dive and went for the 100ml bottle. This is a piece of luxury right here. Mask Milano does amazing scents. They never compromise on quality. Uh, their scents are not only, uh, as I said, good in quality, but the compositions are very creative as well. It also, uh, you can see that same thing in the newer line, uh, but this here is, just, this is heavy, beautiful details on the top, all that gold plating and everything uh, with the Mandala logo right here and the name of it. Love the scent, love the presentation, and we're gonna spray. That spray gets out some serious quantity of juice, and that's why you run out of uh, mask on perfume really fast. Softly green, beautifully incensey, and just a the perfect balance of spices to you know just give a give a soft coating on top of it of sharpness remarkable this scent is remarkable this has olibanum this has cardamom a very well executed scent slightly green Christian Carbonell has done a fantastic job he needs no introduction in the fragrance community he's a legend and I'm too small a person to talk about him but still Love his work and love the scent. It's an absolute masterpiece. Mandala by Mask Milano, my ultimate, ultimate favorite resinous fragrance. Incense is done to perfection. So that was Mandala by Mask Milano. Before we conclude this video, uh, there is one more scent that I want to talk about, and it is called Kalahari by Noem. Thanks to the brand that I was the first one to receive this in India. I sent out the samples to many people. A few of them uh, bought the bottle as well. It is a very loved fragrance. Uh, it is some musk, some incense, uh, balanced to perfection and uh, not too loud in, in its uh, performance, but very classy, very elegant. The entire brand has that DNA and they're coming up with more launches as well. But before that, that's a separate topic. But this one right here is a must try. I highly recommend that you check this out. You can wear this incense scent throughout the year. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's my uh, take on these beautiful resinous fragrances uh, that are there in my collection. I highly recommend that you check these out for the winter. The next video is going to be the last in the winter recommendations category. And that segment is something that I again love as much as I love uh, resinous. And so stay tuned for that video. It's coming up really soon. Till then, thank you so much.